it can be heard for miles. It's been like this for almost a week. Spitting and splintering over a thousand feet in the air. It's now feeding two rivers of lava now flowing through La Palma. On the right hand side of this valley is Ascension's home. She watched the eruption from her kitchen window and ran. The police came, we had to go, we had to go, we had to go. And um, we left everything, we put the suitcases in and we, we left our house and uh, to today we haven't known about nothing about our house. I am very nervous, um, all our life is there. We built it uh, with our hands and um, it's all our life. Her family are among 7,000 people to have been evacuated. Those tasked with moving them know many will now be homeless. It's sad. Yeah. There are people who are not going to find their house after this because it's five, seven, eight meters under the ground. People, there are people here who have been here for all their life. They have grown here. They have their sons here. So it's quite hard for them to leave the house because of a volcano. The lava's slowing pace has brought time for those eager to get out. As they left, Spain's King Felipe and Queen Leticia travelled in to meet evacuees. Coming to their aid too is the entire island community. This sports hall is brimming with donations, not just with physical items, but mental health support too. Social workers are going to work with the families and we'll organise all the donations that we have here. We will cover their essentials and then later we can, perhaps, help them with finding a new home and everything they need for it. Now billowing high above the mountains, the ash is threatening airspace. Some flights in and out of the island have been delayed. We saw from the sky the reason why the black cloud signposting the disaster. But for locals, it's not an easy neighbor to ignore. The unpredictability is what many fear the most. Ashna Haranag, Sky News in La Palma.